What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Q&A. This is Q&A 7. Now this is a special Q&A because uh, there's a lot of Spider-Man questions on here. So uh, this is from Zaid Ahmed again. Thank you for the questions. And I'm just going to jump right into it. Uh, the first one is not a Spidey, is a Spider-Man question. This is just uh, a regular question and I really do like this question. He's, he, asks, he asks, what is your favorite song from One Direction? Uh, my favorite song from One Direction is You Don't Know You're Beautiful. Uh, that song, I had a whole dance move to and everything. Uh, I would show you guys, but again, copyright. Um, but when I was in high school, when that song came on, I had a whole routine set up for that song. Uh, it was one of my favorite songs to turn on when I was dancing at home at Homecoming and you know things like that. Um, and prom, too. That was really fun. All right, so moving on to number two. Now, this is when we get into the Spider-Man questions. This is why this is called the Spidey Special. Uh, number two, yes. What do you think of Reno Ramono's... Sorry, I don't know how I messed that up. Spider-Man voice from Spider-Man PS1. So basically the guy who did the voice for the Spider-Man games in the, P in the PS1 for 1 and 2... Um, those were the those are like the best Spider-Man games. Some of the best Spider-Man games I ever played. Man, those were like I'm gonna put Spidey here. I don't want to put him. Put him here. There you go. There you go, Spidey. <laughs> there you go. Now stay, Spidey. All right. Um, I loved Reno Ramon Ramonos. I'm gonna call him that. I loved his, his, that was like the best, like one of the best Spider-Man voices ever. Like when I, when I was playing the game, like when I was like, like five years old, that was what Spider-Man sounded like to me, uh, along with Christopher Daniel Barnes and Toby. Um, those were the voices I thought of when I thought of Spider-Man's voice. Um, he would have been on the list with, with the video I did for my favorite Spider-Man voice actors slash voice actors if uh if that if he was on that list because he you know he was the person who asked me that question was just asking me like between these people how would you rank it uh and if he was on there he would have got like at least like a two or a one like he would have been like like the, at the top of my favorites for like voice actors he he did a really good job for those he's one of my favorites and he still is one of my favorite people to voice spider-man all right, so number three, he asks, how would you make or fix Spider-Man Homecoming? <sighs> Everything. Everything about that movie just screams awfulness. I'm sorry. If you like the movie, that's fine, but I didn't. It just, I would have preferred if Marvel just, here's how I would have did it. I would have made Spider-Man an adult. He's already an adult. He is either in college or he's out of college. He's working for the Daily Bugle. He's already doing all of that stuff. That's how I would have did Spider-Man. You didn't need to make, this movie didn't even need to be made. That's another thing. I wouldn't have made this movie. I wouldn't have even made the movie itself because they completely screwed it up when they made this movie. They made it they made it off of the ultimate style of 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 the movie. Even even Tom Holland came out and said that yeah, his is based off of the Ultimate Spider-Man from the comics. I'm not a big fan of the Ultimate Ultimate Spider-Man because I'm not a huge fan of younger Spider-Man. I prefer an older Spider-Man. He's an adult. You know, he's he knows what he's doing, and he's funnier. Like, I just like him as an adult. I like him when he's, like, in his 20s and his 30s. Like, I prefer that Spider-Man. I don't prefer this younger Spider-Man, be probably because I'm, like, 19 years old now and older, so I'm kind of progressed more towards that than I am. But even when I was younger, I, when I played the Spider-Man PS1, he, he was, you know, on the PS1, Reno Ramono's performance. He's older. He's older Spider-Man. Toby, he's more of the older Spider-Man. You know, I just... Uh, Christopher Daniel Barnes from the animated series. 
that was what I grew up on. I grew up on a Spider-Man who's older and who knows what he's doing. So I just kind of, that kind of is what I think of when I think of Spider-Man. I think of him older, you know, standard 616 universe. He knows what he's doing. He, he like, that's what I would have done. I would have made it the 616 Spider-Man from the comics. I would have made him older. I would have made him an adult. I would not even have made this movie because all that the people want from the MCU is just to see Spider-Man with the Avengers. That 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 is what people wanted, and they were like, "Let's just make a Spider-Man movie and let's make a bunch of money." I haven't even checked the box office for the movie. I I uh I think I think it's in like second place right now as like the as the the one that made the most money. You got Spider-Man three, Spider-Man Homecoming. Uh, I think Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man 1, The Amazing Spider-Man 1, then The Amazing Spider-Man 2. If I remember, that's what it was for the box office for all of those movies in in order from the best, from the most money to the least money. Um, but I, I think this movie didn't even need to be made. I would have gotten rid of all that political crap too that was thrown in there. Do you know how many political crap was in this movie? Do you know how many crap that MJ said about, like, you know, how slaves made the Washington Monument? Like, who says that? Like, when they're on a field trip. Like, I don't understand. Like, like, oh, like, like, this movie just, oh, like, like, I'm just so sick of talking about this movie. But, but no, this movie didn't even need to be made. Like, like that's just the ultimate thing I have to say. But... If I was if I was asked how I would fix the movie, I would have made him already out of school, or he would have been in college or something. Because I again I was tricked from Civil War. I thought that he was already in. And doesn't that make more sense with Peter's character that he's in college and that he's trying to you know get into Stark Enterprises prizes to like work get a job there wouldn't that have made more sense than putting him back in high school that's just you know like that's just what i think i think that would have made more sense for the mcu than what they did here all right moving on <laughs> all right number four and this is actually the last question number four he asks how would you make spider-man 4 if toby was still spidey oh um, I would have did it the exact way that Sam Ra Raimi was trying to do it before. I would have done Vulture and Black Cat as the, as the, you know, as the new characters in it. Uh, and that's the thing. Homecoming pretty much took its care, what, you know, Toby's villain and put it into Homecoming. Like, that was supposed to be Spider-Man 4, was to have Vulture in it. Black Hat in it. I think there was one more in it. I don't remember because it's been forever since I read the article about, you know, what the plans were for Spider-Man 4. There is, like, a couple articles out there somewhere about, uh, you know, Sam's idea for what Spider-Man 4 was going to be like or what it was going to be about. Uh, I would have done it that way. But, uh, I would have done it that way, but I think for, if we were talking about let's say if this movie continued, like Spider-Man 5, for example, I would have made, like, Carnage the main villain for that one. Uh, but for, as far as, like, Spider-Man 4, I would have just kept it, you know, what Sam was doing. I would have I would have had it, you know, Vulture as the villain, Black Cat would be in it too, that would be cool. Like, th that's just, you know, how I would prefer it. I'd prefer it the way he was making it. But if I was making Spider-Man 5 or something, then I would have, like, Carnage be the villain or something. And then I would do, like, this cool, like, a uh, little flashback where, you know, when he blows up the symbiote, you know, in Spider-Man 3, like, maybe, like, a piece of Carnage fell off and, like, it, like, found its way to Cassidy somehow. Like, that's how I would do Spider-Man 5. But Spider-Man 4, I would completely have that rest and then start that up with Carnage in Spider-Man 5. Um, but, uh, and then I would have Spider-Man 5 be, like, the last, uh, the last movie of Spider-Man, of the Spider-Man series. But, um, but anyway, guys, yeah, that's it. Those are the questions. Uh, these are really good questions. Um, 
I, I, these are cool. I like them. Uh, anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and I'm out of here. Up, up, and away. See you guys.